everyone and welcome to the Discover History YouTube channel. You've got me again today and I've been inundated with requests to get back in the kitchen. As you know, it is quite a struggle for me so I'm doing the best I can when I can and with the help and support of my, you could say, sous chef behind the scenes, Ian, thank you ever so much for, for helping me with these and um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Now, the year we're looking at is 1953 and it was an important year at this time because on the 2nd of June that year we had the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II and it was a great occasion, it actually brought loads of people together, not just those waiting in the thousands of crowds um, waiting to get a glimpse of her but those that were working behind the scenes and we've spoken to many of people that have said I was there, I was there at her coronation, however I saw absolutely nothing of it because I was on car park duties for instance um, as well but for most of us as well um, people used to buy a television and they used to get all their family and their neighbours around to watch the television to see the coronation there. People used to put on their suits and dress up because obviously you've got the Queen coming into your own home so what a better occasion to dress up and have a party and with the coronation itself new foods were coming out rationing at that time was changing as well and we were getting certain things come off the ration so in March of 1953 eggs were coming off the ration that did please a lot of people because they worshipped uh, fresh eggs you did have the substitute of dried eggs at the time but quite often people said it just wasn't the same and then in April you had real cream being introduced again. Now it was illegal for dairy farmers at that time to produce real cream for sale. So at that time you had evaporated milk instead. Now, when real cream came back on the market, it was a revolution for the old people. They absolutely loved it. However, for the younger generation, they preferred the evaporated milk, should we say. They found real cream to be quite rich and greasy. Then in September of this year, sugar came off the ration and that was a great time as well because we're looking at sort of bottling fruits and we could now do that in syrup instead of water. But we're also looking to do jam making as well, which again helped revolutionise everything. But one of the big things people was pleased about was February of 1953, where sweets finally came off the ration. Children were impressed with this and I know um, from looking at my family tree and chatting to my great nan, she was a hoarder of chocolate. Um, when we talk about panic by now, I swear to God, she, she panic bought chocolate even into her 90s. When we used to go around, she had like an old drinks trolley and that used to be covered in sort of all sorts of sweets and chocolates. So for me as a child, it was literally like I had my own sweet shop. Um, but with this as well, you did get around the sweet ration, you could chew licorice root and cough sweets were never rationed, so children used to buy those. However, when it was announced that sweets were coming off the ration, children queued outside the sweet shops, but for the grown-ups, it was a choice of chocolate. And one of the cooks at the time was Marguerite Patton, and she was inundated with people wanting recipes for real chocolate. Now that's one of the recipes we've done today for you and it involves no cooking at all. It just involves a little bit of heating a mountain chocolate as well. The preparation time takes about 20 minutes. So I hope you've got a pen and paper ready because the recipe we're doing is an un I can't even speak now, an uncooked chocolate cake. You can see it's a bit of a mouthful and Ian's already licking his lips behind the scenes at me. Now your ingredients then you need is um, change the grams, the, the weights to grams so it makes it easier for everyone in the kitchen. You need 225 grams of digestive biscuits. So we've got some there, let's move those out of the shop. You then need 85 grams of plain chocolate. You then need 85 grams of butter or margarine, that's in our fridge at the moment. You then need 25 grams of caster sugar. You need a few drops of vanilla essence. And then you need a level tablespoon of golden syrup as well. So I'll repeat those for you. 225 grams of digestive biscuits, 
85 grams of plain chocolate, 85 grams of butter or margarine, 25 grams of caster sugar, a few drops of vanilla essence and a level tablespoon of golden syrup. Now first things first, remember to wash your hands. Okay, we always do that even when we're cooking a main meal. So wash your hands. The first thing you then need to do is crush your biscuits, breaking them down into fine crumbs. And then you need to take your chocolate, break it up into small pieces, put it in a heat proof bowl that's on a saucepan with some water boiling at the bottom. So you're gonna melt the chocolate. Now when the chocolate's melted, let it cool slightly. And then you add your butter or your margarine, your sugar, your vanilla essence, and then your syrup. And then you need to beat it until it's soft and creamy. Once that's done, add in your biscuit crumbs, mix it around and make sure it's mixed well. Then what you need to do is take um, sort of a bowl or a flan dish and then you need to pour it in there but press firmly down flattening it inside there. Then put it in your fridge and leave it there for a few hours, preferably overnight. So this is what we've already done. And what it should come out like is this here. So you can see it's a solid chocolate piece. And now what you need to do is cover it with a topping. So taking your pen and paper again, what you now need is 50 grams of butter or margarine, a few drops of vanilla essence, 115 grams of icing sugar and just two teaspoons of milk. So what you're going to do is cream the butter, sift in the icing sugar, so you're going to mix it well and slowly, and then your two te te um, teaspoons of milk, you're going to mix that in slowly. What we've then got is that here. So that's the way it should look. And then once that's done, all we need to do is spoon it out so if I get it all out for you ah, it's always good when you've got a here's one I sorted earlier all with the help of Ian because I am still struggling slightly to uh, do stuff and then you just need to hopefully if I can hold this down just spread it around the top doesn't matter whether it's messy, neat, whatever, it's your cake, do it any way you like. And as you can see, I'm not that much of a neat person. Just get a bit more out of the edges there. Push it all the way around. And then while it's still wet, in the recipe itself, it suggests chocolate drops. But me personally, I think that's going to be quite chocolatey already and because we're at a coronation after all, Queen Elizabeth II, we want a bit of colour. So what I've got in here are some coloured strands, what you could say is like your old hundreds and thousands and these were around. I always remember having these on a, a trifle and different things again which were around and then just keep putting them on. And hey presto! We have our 1953 uncooked chocolate cake. Now who's going to enjoy this later? Probably Paul and Ian. They might just let me have a little bit there as well. So on that note, thank you for joining us. Do have a go. If you manage to do it, do send us your photos. We do love seeing your attempts as well. Remember, cooking, it's all trial and error. Nothing's ever perfect sometimes, so don't stress. But with this one, hopefully it should be easy peasy if there's a particular period in history you want me to look at for you or maybe a particular recipe dietary need or anything like that give me a challenge we're always up for that as well if you haven't already please subscribe to the youtube channel please keep in touch follow our facebook instagram and twitter and um yeah keep keep sending us those requests and messages but on that note enjoy happy cooking and see you soon take care Bye.